Welcome everybody to Table Stories Facade. What an episode last session. It's been two weeks since we've had a show. I hope you've mentally prepared yourself as we get close to the end. We're getting there. We're getting close to the end of the show. But welcome. Uh, there very well may be some trigger warnings tonight. Um, be prepared. This is definitely an adult show. Um, thank you. Okay. On the last episode of Facade, there's a lot to talk about, by the way, so this is kind of long. I'm sorry. On the last episode of Facade, Ada, having obtained a copy of the book Visions by Peter Robertson, went to Central Park, specifically Strawberry Fields, to read this book, find out what she could learn from it. The book is very strangely written, out of order, as if someone very, very disturbed had written it. It doesn't make a lot of sense like a normal book would be read. She found hints that Peter Robertson found this same place that Ada wants so badly to go to. This place of torment and pain that Ada looks, I guess, looks very forward to going to. She found hence that Peter was able to go to this place via the club, Myriad, and by speaking to its owner, Marek. She went to Myriad, found it closed on Sundays, and tried to break in via the um, fire escape, but fell and dropped the cat that she had stolen from the now deceased owner of Skyline Publishing. She went to a nearby electronics store and spoke to the, um, the employee or the owner there and found out that Marek was murdered in the last few days and tried to learn about the uh, employees that work there but really couldn't find too much information about them, especially after trying the Better Business Bureau. She was put on hold for quite a long time and gave up. She checked Yelp, specifically a review by Yankee Fan 8003 about a bouncer breaking his arm. Still, no information or pictures about the employees that work at Myriad. She sent a message to this Yankee fan and trying to learn more, but didn't receive any sort of immediate response. She tried calling Quinn and got their voicemail. She called Professor Charles, but spoke with the passenger instead. They talked about visions and made a deal she would read the book to Professor Charles if the passenger would give her details on where the notebook was located. Max went back to the hospital to try and speak with Green and possibly get healed. She learned about the bargains that she signed at the club during the VIP meeting, specifically one that meant she was owned by someone going by the herald of violence. Quinn and Professor Charles had their own interesting encounters in some sort of 
dreamscape. Quinn lay dying in the street, victim of a car accident, and heard muttering about dying or paying the consequences. Professor Charles tried to use CPR to revive them, but was unsuccessful. He tried to call for an ambulance, but heard his passenger and sister on the phone instead. Feeling overwhelmed, he tried to commit suicide by taking pills and drinking alcohol. After doing so, he heard a buzzing and found himself and Quinn waking up to the sound of his apartment buzzer and Max outside. After a conversation, Max used the key that Merrick left her on Professor Charles's door to find a black void up here. Professor Charles walked into it and ended up leaving without a trace. Snooping around the apartment, Quinn and Max try to find anything suspicious. They found an email on Professor Charles's computer to Abigail when words began moving around the screen. Max went to investigate with Quinn, but spilled her drink on the computer. The computer shut off, but they managed to see E-L-Y get spilled out before it did. Outside of Myriad, Dr. Copeland was trying her best to find a way inside via rat? She was looking to try and knock a rat unconscious. While she was doing that, the door to Myriad opened up and Professor Charles walked out. Oddly enough, when Professor Charles and Quinn woke up, Remy was nowhere to be seen in Professor Charles' apartment. Today, we find out why that happened. Remy. You wake up. It's dark and very, very cold. Your teeth are chattering. You see familiar smoke all about the ground. You feel goosebumps on your skin. And when you t- when you breathe, you can feel that like painful sensation in your nose and in your throat when it's really, really cold out. You're shivering. And you realize that you are on the floor of Professor Charles's apartment. You can see Quinn barely through the smoke as well as Professor Charles on the ground. And the smoke is all around them. What do you do? What the f- Where did, it... Where did everybody- What the f- Oh! Oh, no! Um... Can I try to call out t- to them? <clears throat> Just- Yep! Yeah. Q? Professor? Um, oh, what the hell is going on right now? C- can you guys hear me? Hello? And, um, I'll also investigate t- the situation. Your teeth are chattering. It is <sighs> brutal cold. <sighs> 
Well, he pays heat bills either. What kind of shy? We can try and investigate. Okay, a thirteen. Um, I believe that gets you a question from the investigate list. All right, so let's go with. Do, do, do. Um, what is my gut feel about what I'm investigating? Probably. Can you be more specific about what you're trying to investigate? Um, so I'm calling out to what I see right now. And I don't know if I get an answer yet, but I'm like looking around as well. So, so just, you just want a general, general kind of, I, I don't know what's happening right now. It's very, uh, very confusing to me. I think your gut feeling is that professor Charles and Quinn are asleep and that what you and they were experiencing may very well have been some kind of dream. Uh, hello? C can you hear me? Uh, it's, it's time time to wake up. Yeah, we got shit to do today. Um, hello? Do you touch them at all? Yeah, I'll reach out. Their skin, uh, whoever you reach out for, their skin is very cold to the touch. If you look at them, you can see that their <laughs> lips are a bit blue. No, this is... This is like... No, 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 no. Um... <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give Q a smack. Like a... It's not like a... You know, like a... When you're trying to wake somebody up when... Mm -hmm. Just like yeah, so taps to their yeah, yep to the cheek. No response. They are breathing. <sighs> okay. Um. You can probably shit. see like, you know, their breath in there coming through. Yeah. Fuck, it's freezing. Um. <sighs> uh, can I try to see through the illusion here? Is this a situation where I could? You have your camera around your neck. Okay. So yeah, I will, and I will try to see through the illusion through my lens here. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, Kidoki. What do I see? Do you have any other moves that you're using or is this see through the illusion? I could, uh, let me see real quick here. I think I do have one. It would be um, enhanced awareness. So how do I pop it? I could just read it to you. I have it, but I'm okay. just I'm just curious. Are you using see through the illusion or enhanced awareness? I'm gonna use enhanced awareness here. Okay. Mm. Uh. Where is your camera pointed? Uh, I'm trying to get both, but um, it'll be pointed at Q. Like directly, but if I can get Professor in the same shot, that'd be great. But right into the smoke. Okay. Um, you can see that the smoke is actually pouring into their ears, and you didn't see it at first. It's smoke. It's dark but there is a figure in the smoke. 
It looks to be made up of the smoke. You think you remember this a little bit. Um, yo, hey, but friendly, uh, um, yo, I'm um, just chilling. Um, hello, can you help? Help me, my, my, my friends. Oh, okay, okay, all right, yeah. Oh, nice, n- nice S- to, to meet you too. I uh, hey, hey, look, look, I, I don't want no problems, okay? I, I really don't. I'm just, I just woke up. I, I don't even know who, what, who, what you are. All right, okay. Cool. Um, Are you looking at it? Yeah. It seemingly didn't notice you at first. Oh. But now it starts to tilt its head towards you. Hey, um, can you, uh... L- leave my friend alone. In you see a rictus smile start to fill the features of the smoke. Okay. Okay. This. this. Oh, this is real. Okay, this is real. This is real. Hey, look. I, I, I honestly. Can I, um. Well, I can see the smile. It's not responding to me at all, right? It's just. Is it moving closer to me or anything? Or is it. It's observing you. In, it's observing me, okay. So Remy's just like. <laughs> um. Uh, s- uh, selfie? Yeah? No. Okay. Cool. Okay. Awesome. When you say that, I would like you to try to influence, influence other. Yeah. S- selfie? The shape begins to change. To a figure that you recognize looks a little bit like you. Huh. What does Lenny L- look like? Ah, uh, so he's my younger bro. He's probably just. I want to say he he would have like he's a younger dude in his um twenties, probably like twenty twenty one or so. And has like a little like curly hair, like a fro, a little bit of, uh, and you know, light light skin, but very just by the book kind of looking guy, just with a little bit of like uh, maybe a disheveled look. What uh, would he be wearing? From his hair. Ah, uh, probably just jeans and a t-shirt, jeans and like a white tee. So blue jeans, white tee, no design on the shirt. And he's your older brother, right? I believe he's my younger brother. He's my younger brother. brother. Yep. Lenny? Bro. Hey, what's up, bro? Yeah, uh, uh, dude. uh, Put. I've been. I've been looking for you, man. Like, they. They said they transferred you, but but they wouldn't tell me. Transferred me where, where? I I don't know. I've been looking, and I I got I got a new friend. Uh, th- their name is Q. She, they said they were gonna help me f- find you, and and clearly. But you left kind of like, me, bro. I I didn't. No 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 no. I. I left. You know I had to work, and I. How I come said you couldn't was, find me, bro? 
I've tried. I, I really have. I've, I don't know. They wouldn't tell me anything about you. Don't do that to me, Len. So you gave no. up? No. I said that, that cues, they're going to help me. They're going to help me fight. I didn't give up, man. Then how come oh, you Mom. didn't find me? <laughs> well, I thought you, you loved me. I do love you. I, I found you now, though, right? You're supposed to be my big brother. I am your big brother, but, you know, I don't know where they, they took you. And I had no leads. I'm a pretty shitty detective i guess but but i'm learning oh look man you're here now okay right yeah no thanks to you <laughs> don't do that don't do that len <laughs> i thought you were a cat <laughs> that's so funny what, this is the, you're pathetic <laughs> no are you gonna cry some more no, I'm not gonna. <laughs> um... <laughs> Maybe you should take a picture. You and your fucking pictures. You. You helped me see things, man. Did I? Yeah. The things that I couldn't see, remember? When you were the one that told me that I had a gift. And. You don't have I shit. Don't... What? Co coming from... <laughs> this... No, man. That's, it's not you. This isn't... You wouldn't... You wouldn't say that. You're... Lenny... Or, um... Remy just, like... Turns around and... Is kind of just, like, fumbling with his camera. <laughs> this isn't... No, this, this, no, this, this doesn't make any sense. This can't be. Why? <sighs> okay. Um. Who's next, Remy? Fuck you, man. Fuck me? Yeah, fuck you, man. You left me, man. You left yeah, me. Um, I didn't leave you. You're not Lenny. You're not my brother. <laughs> You're not my brother, man. It's, it's not. It's not a joke. <laughs> my friend, she's there. I don't know if they're dying or. <clears throat> big big boy pants, yo. <clears throat> nah, man. You're not. You're not my brother. If I'm not your brother, then who am I, Remy? I don't know who you are. I don't know what you are. But I'm not going to let you belittle me and and say that I that I don't have a gift or that I don't have shit cuz I have friends now too. I have this camera and I can see things. Q tells me that I have a gift as well, and so does Green. And I'm not gonna sit here and listen to you say these things to me. I just, I refuse to. Oh, look at that. Look who finally grew some balls. Yeah, I'll, I've had them all along, okay? And he like rubbed his eyes again. Oh, fuck. You start to see smoke billow out from Lenny. The same smoke that moves around the apartment. Okay, I knew it. I knew it. Okay, we made it. We did it. Oh, Remy, Remy. So what will you do now, Remy? I'm getting the fuck out of here. That's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna do try to leave the apartment. You can? Yeah, I do. I think I can, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. 
So, if you don't mind, you get the fuck out of my way. I'll be leaving. I don't know that you will. I think I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm. There's the door right there. And you're not gonna stop me, alright? I gotta help my friend. And I just can't be in this room right now. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to go to the door. I'm gonna step down from the couch. Or I'm on the floor, so I'm just gonna get up. And... Just... Move on over there if he's in, if the shadowy figure is in my way. I'm just gonna look look it right in the uh, right in the face and say, hey, can you do you mind? You see a knife begin to form in the shadow's hand. Oh, okay, all right. Okay then. Well, um. Ah, oh, if, if you're not going to get out of the way, then can you help me with my friend, please? My friends, just, I don't want no problems. I already told you this already. You can try and influence other. You have a minus one. a good thing kind of just I kind of just step back a little bit mm. selfie doesn't seem to no. react okay cool that's fine yeah leave them alone just leave them alone I'll I'll, I'll figure this out I'll, I'll figure it out just leave them alone. Please. It's it's seemingly not being aggressive towards you, but it has a knife. Yeah. So I step back. Yo, don't mind putting that thing away. You might hurt yourself there with that. It's far likely then I will hurt you man look okay <clears throat> if if you need to hurt me then do it just leave my friend alone you said that you would and your blood will be spilled okay. brings the knife down Whoa! Across hey. your arm. Aye. What does it feel like? It feels like pressing your skin against frozen metal. Ah. Burns. Ah. And you can see frost crystals form on your skin where it strikes you. Okay. Ouch. Fuck. Why would you do that? The smoke begins to spill down as if this creature starts to dissolve. Oh. The smoke begins to coalesce around you. Uh -huh. it travels up your legs. Oh no. Up your body. Towards the Ow. cut in your arm. Oh no. Ah, 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 
No, nah, it doesn't feel good. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck. Um, okay. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. That just happened. So, like, when it enters me, uh, as far as, like, besides the cold, does it... Is it, like, coursing through my whole body, or is it localized in my arm, or... You feel... As if it first starts in your arm, you feel a coldness, a burning, burning, cold feeling. An extreme, extreme cold when it stops feeling cold and it just feels like pain and burning. It starts to spread out from the cut and travel all across your body. My wish. No wish, Professor. Hey, his he, Bill. Uh, okay. I'm gonna try to leave the uh, room just to get out of the room. Sure. Head out to the porch. You head out onto the porch. <sighs> <sighs> Okay. I'm going to try to call, um, I'm going to call Doc, Ada, if possible, because I saw, yeah, that's probably who I would call right now. You go for your phone, and you see that the battery's dead. Fuck me, I should have charged it before I went to bed. Um, damn. <sighs> Sucks. What the hell, man? What did I do to deserve any of this? I gotta call Doc, I think. I might even... I might even need some placebo. I think this might be what it was... <laughs> invented for. <sighs> Can I try to look for my charger and plug it in and mm -hmm. back it's in, in the there? kitchen? Okay. Yeah, I'll head back inside and kind of just I'm like moving very slowly just holding my arm. Okay. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Then I'll look for an outlet to plug it into. Sure. With each Just step you take, you can feel this pins and needles like sensation, like when your foot falls asleep. Mm -hmm. Every time you take uh, a step, huh. Huh. I probably would just collapse then to the floor. Just fall to the floor. Just a few more steps. I'm just like reaching for the outlet from uh, the floor, but it's probably uh, farther than I can reach. And you I'm just gonna like to get your crawl. phone up on the. Um, you managed to get your phone up on the counter. And I'm probably just after you do. You feel the cold traveling up your body. Mm -hmm. it gets to behind your eyes. And the searing pain, uh -huh. like your eyes are freezing in your skull. Uh -huh. And you pass out. <sighs> Later. We join 
Max and Quinn. They had just left Professor Charles' apartment and we have um, basically the two of them. Uh, Quinn had just gotten off the phone with Dr. Copeland with a, a final attempt at bargaining um, with Quinn. Dr. Copeland was looking for uh, her notebook. Um, the conversation did not go well. What are you two doing? Uh, we we walked through the door as well, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. okay. You didn't use Max's key. Mm-mm. Right. We just walked out the mm-hmm. regular door. Um, I'm going to be looking around to see if there are any cabs parked up, any, any cars left on the side of the road at all. There wouldn't be just a cab there. Um, you'd probably have to hail one. Uh... Are there any that have been parked and left? Cars? Yeah, there's definitely cars uh-huh. parked. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go up to one of those and try it to see if the doors open. Okay. What? What, what are you? What are you doing? I'm going to my club. You coming? Are you gonna? You gonna take this car? Well, this it isn't is quicker. Your- it's, we can just hail a cab. I'll just hail a cab. I'll, do, I'll just I'll just hail a cab. No big deal. I'll pay for it. No big deal. All right, deal. you do that. I'll do this, and we'll see who gets a lift quicker. No, well, or we could just not steal someone's car. I try to hail a cab. What is life like for you? Is it simple? It seems like it'd be really fucking simple. I, I no. In fact, it's not simple at all. It's very complicated, but that doesn't mean I need to make somebody else's day more complicated by stealing their car. Hmm. Oh. They make after-school specials about people like you. I'm gonna start trying to jimmy the door. Yeah, you're gonna try and start looking. I mean, are you gonna basically? Are you just gonna go down the the uh, parked cars to see if a door yeah. is open? Yeah, I'm just gonna uh, try my luck. Yeah, see if somebody's okay. left an open. Yeah, unlikely in New York City. Um, go ahead and uh, give me a roll for that. Um, okay. Yeah, I think this is probably uh Yeah, observe a situation, I guess. Okay. 13. Okay. Um yeah, you it takes you a few cars, but I think maybe you find that someone left their trunk open. Mm-hmm. As opposed, to, that would be the boot, uh-huh. by the way. Um, uh, <laughs> Thank you, translator. Um, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna open it up then, and and basically like you you're smaller than me. Do you want to? So in the time that it took her to break into a car, was I able to hail a cab and get? Because I'm not getting in a stolen car. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. You can give me a roll because it's it's like later yeah. at night. It's it's harder to find a cab right now. It's like after rush hour. Yeah. This no is like worries. lawful good ro- yeah. <laughs> rolls yeah. against chaotic neutral. She, she really is. So. Uh, it's insane. I, I think this is probably like influence other, we'll say, Quinn. Okay. Um, yeah, there's a cab headed your way, but Max has popped this trunk already. Look, look, there, there, there's a cab right here. We can just take it and go. We don't, we don't have to take somebody else's ride. Yeah, but they're so fucking chatty, aren't they? Isn't it annoying? I mean, and you I can just, just tell them into not to... The, into the trunk. Oh my, oh man, look, you don't know Come who, you on. don't know. People will see, do you want people to see you, you next to a stolen vehicle? How would you vehicle? feel? No, I don't want to see. I don't want to we'll see somebody next to trunk, me, me next to a stolen vehicle, and I don't want to be in a stolen Quinn, vehicle. Quinn, Quinn, get in the cab. Don't get in the cab. Get in the trunk. Don't get in the trunk. I, I really don't care. Just make a choice. Get in the cab. <laughs> uh, and I give them the address to size apartment. I'm not going to Max's club. Okay. 
Quentin uh, takes off in the uh, cab. Max, you see you, you see them uh, take off. Hmm. Grind some bollocks. Excellent. Um, and I'll kind of kick the uh, the back seats down to get into the the main part of the the car. Um, and look around under the um. Uh, oh, what do you call it? The, the little sun flap sun visor. thing. Sun visor. Okay, cool. Oh, we're all learning things. Uh, yeah, I'm looking under the sun visor and under the carpets and stuff to see where they've left the keys, because if they are stupid enough to leave their car in luck, they're probably stupid enough to leave keys. Yeah, give me another roll. <laughs> as super unlikely as this is, um, you can... I guess this is another observer situation. I'm going to say you've got a minus one. That's a modifier, right? Yeah. Okay. Eh. Nine. No keys. No keys. Okay, I'll I'll try and hotwire it then, I guess. Okay. Um. Act under pressure. Mm-hmm. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, <laughs> It takes you a long time uh, to hotwire it. You're there, I'm like swearing throughout. Yeah, it's it's like a good Get ten the minutes. Get fucking Max! Oh my nice Max! Look, it's so much quicker, Max. Fuck off! The whole time you're like sweating, and it's fucking cold. You can't tell that it's cold, but all of the we- all of the windows have fogged up in this car. It looks like there's a young teenage couple making out in here. Okay, I'm going to wind the window down. Kind of flap flap the door ever so slightly, try and get some some air in. Mm-hmm. But only once the engine is running. I don't want people to see me hot wiring a car. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, it takes you like a ridiculously long amount of time to get this car started. <laughs> um, but you do it. And... Um, it sort of uh, it comes to life. I think it's probably just an average kind of car. Um, it's probably uh, well, you know something mid range. Maybe it's probably like a you know like a uh, like an Acura or something. Mm-hmm. Um, Is there anything hanging off the rearview mirror? Like nah. cutesy stuff. Aw, disappoint. I'm gonna check the glove compartment. Okay. Yeah, uh, inside the glove compartment there is the normal stuff, uh, probably some random junk, a few receipts. Uh, mm. There's, um, I think, a uh, probably like the registration. Um, and uh, we'll say some really old-looking snacks. Ooh, okay. Um I'm going to shove the snacks in my bag. Like a bag of Doritos or something. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I don't care when. about the use by date. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to shove that in my bag, um, and I want to look at the license. Okay. There's no license. There is a registration. Oh, the registration. Does yeah. that have a name attached to it? Yeah. Who um, is it? <laughs> I just want to know in case I get pulled over. Sure, sure. <laughs> um, yeah, it's... Uh, Thomas Winfrey. Okay. Okay, dokie. I'm going to, uh, if the engine is starting, I'll kind of pump the gas mm-hmm. um, a little bit. And very sensibly compared to my last joyride, drive in an unremarkable fashion to the club. Okay. Off you go. Heading to Myriad. We switch scenes to Myriad. Oh, no. <laughs> um, where we find Professor Anthony Charles and Dr. Ada Copeland. Professor Charles, you've just... Uh, oh, he's AFK, of course. Um... Uh, you follow Professor Charles into the club. Uh, he's propped up a brick uh, to leave the door open. 
uh, for you as you were trying to use a rat in some sort of horrific ritual of some kind to get into the club before. Um, but luckily enough for you, the professor's right there. You follow him into the club. I'll walk through the door and kick the brick out of the way mm-hmm. to close the door behind me. What's inside this room? Max, what would be just inside of the back door area? Uh, not a huge amount. There'd probably be some, like, uh, this, this is the back door, the staff back door, like the, um, the smoke break one. Yeah, there, there wouldn't be much. There'd be, like, um, a fold-up chair against the wall. It's all pretty gross back there because customers don't go there, really. Um, probably, a like, a, an old, um, bucket full of sand that people used to stub out cigarettes and stuff. Also clean up vomit. This is indoors, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so it's like a break room. Uh, it's more like a, like a corridor to and from places. Okay. It does not smell good. (laughs) What's at the end of the corridor? Uh, more doors to more places. Okay. There'd be like one door, hang on a minute, one door on the left, one straight on, one on the right. All right. So, you follow Professor Charles into a myriad. Mm-hmm. Closing the door behind me, yes. Knock the brick out Anthony. Of the way. How yes. are you? Ada. Are you feeling better? Uh, I think I... I think I will be once we've got this, um... All out on the... On the table. Yeah. Um... Do you come here often? <laughs> never. Well... Uh... That is a lie. I've been, I, I've been here once before. Um... Oh. For some... Uh, Terrible wine and even worse service. Really? I mean, let's let's just t- take a seat, Ada. Well, let's. Yeah, let's find a seat. I'm... Um. So we walk through the corridor to a room, just opening up rooms. I would like to point out, by the way, that when you do go inside, uh-huh. um, there's a a strong smell of bleach. And you do find some crime scene tape. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, well, do you, um, know anything about all this tape? Um, not this one. Uh, I know, but, uh, okay. it's a nightclub. I, I imagine various things happen here. Yeah, I bet. From what I met of well, the, uh, the staff, I, I'm not surprised, let's put it that way. Hmm. You keep mentioning the staff in some pretty, uh, well, you know, pretty well, antagonistic way. Did they do something to you? <laughs> not so much that as in I'm very much the wrong gentleman in the wrong establishment. Uh, huh. this isn't really my, my scene. Yeah. Council was incredibly rude and utterly unhelpful. Um. Mm. Yes. Um. Eh, look. Look. I just. I just. Ada. I just. I just. I need to talk. Yeah. Absolutely. That's what I'm here I, for. But, but. But. I need. I need to sit down. Um. Yeah. Please. And also, sort of gesture. I. Can we see like a break room from here or anywhere that would have a table or chairs or? Are we still um, just in the dead end corridor? S- so, Max, do you think that there's, um, wh- where would you think that is? There wouldn't really be a break room for this kind of thing, because if you're on duty, you're on duty. Um, but, uh, there's, where, I mean, where is it? They are, they're, like... they're in the main corridor, right? Yeah, even if it's like well, to, the, a door that would be obviously into the main club itself, like, Somewhere I know oh, yeah, there's yeah. likely to be um, seats. From, from the back corridor, the one straight on goes to the club. 
Um, but there are also doors right and left. Well, let's go into the main club area. You can see <laughs> yeah. that there's okay. chairs up on uh, the bar and the table. You can see there's like a bunch of cleaning supplies and whatnot around. Yeah. I'd like to go behind the bar. Would you like a drink? Wine, you said? What kind? Um, I mean, if they've got a, a Merlot, that would be lovely, but I won't hold my breath. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. That sounds great. And I'll, I'll sort of take two chairs down, like off that have been stacked up. While, he, while he's doing that, I'm going to just kind of rummage under the bar table to see if I can find a, a gun behind the bar. Do they have those at this bar? Max. Uh, I think especially if the police had been here, no, absolutely not. Hmm. Okay. All right. Do I find any wine? Yeah, there'd be wine. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. Well, uh, I'm just gonna take some glasses and just kind of start wiping them off. Tell me about your day, Anthony. What's got <laughs> you so distressed? I pour him some wine. Have you ever reached a point, Ada, where, where you just don't care anymore? Roll me disadvantage, please, the rest of Charles. Nine. I get to that point a lot. You know, everybody does. We have every human being has a limit. I, well, I mean, like, I'm, I, I don't mean apathy, Ada. I mean exhaustion of. Ask her about the book. Just be quiet for five goddamn minutes. The book. <sighs> For this ride, you need to trust. Or shall I ask her about the heart instead? Anthony. Sorry, uh, Ada. It's okay. Just... Look, I I understand okay. that you're dissociating right now. That's okay. I'm. I, I want, want I you want to know. My... I want you to know that I'm right here with you. Okay? You're right here. We're both here. Everything is fine. Have some wine. I hear voices. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I want to. Can I? I need to tell you. I want to tell you everything. Ada, please. I'm I, all I, ears. I can't. I am. I am overwhelmed, and I am. I am broken. <laughs> I need your help. As he I says, help. help. You can see a bit of a tremor come from Professor Charles. The veins on his temple mm -hmm. stand prominent. Oh. And his eyes change. Hmm. The sclera begin to fill with an inky blackness. I see. And out from his mouth, you hear... Where is the book? Where is the book? Anthony, I'm, I'm sorry. Such, uh, a, such a lovely singing voice. Ada, this is this is what I uh, this 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 is this is what I mean. I I have I have uh, I have uh, I I was lying. Okay, I was. Let's call it in, what it in, is, Anthony. It's a passenger, isn't it? 
he keeps he keeps telling me he's along for the ride i i found i i researched i in the diner i, I was i was lying i i i think these are more than the more than dreams i I arrived at this club by walking through a door of black. Yes. And I am here. I... I was in I my house. I and I watched my niece... I Watch watched my what? niece die in front of How? me. What? How? How? I she, one minute she was... Oh, she was that... The eye you had <laughs> tail me. Huh. And then the next look, he is in my head and it is my niece. And I I, I tried to I tried to end it, Ada, and, and then I I woke up back in my uh, apartment in New York with with Quinn. And I he won't give me any answers, Ada. He 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 just keeps telling me he's along for the ride. Mm. <sighs> well, I n- I, n- I, well, I, can... I I have some good news for you. The um the book you showed me. <sighs> yes. I um I was actually able to find out a lot about that book. I, I, I had a copy I, in my... I, I lost I, I even have a copy, Anthony. You have, you have, a, you have a copy of um, uh, Visions? You see another Again. tremor rock Professor Charles' body. Hmm. <sighs> are, you in, I, I, are you in pain I need to, right now? No, I, I need, I, I need, I need you to do. I need to ask you something. I need your help. Yes, anything. You, <laughs> you know far more of this than I. I, I will, I will tell you everything. I will. You will. You try and talk to him for me. Will yes. you try and get me some answers as to why he won't let me go? I tried to kill myself, Ada. Please, please, just talk to him. I understand. I, 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 I don't know how it works, but I, I just talk to him for me, please. It's, I, I don't even... I understand. It's okay. It's okay. I just want answers and I want this to end. As it turns out, I have a lot of information for you. Okay. And I want to convey it all to you. Are you in full control of your body, Anthony? Uh, Has this passenger taken control of your body? I would like you to please try to keep it together for me, Professor. Well, <clears throat> choose one from the keep it together list. You take a condition there. Okay, do I need to say out loud what that is? Nope. I mean, it doesn't really you can matter, just act it out. Okay. Honestly, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I... I don't remember. I, if he has, I, I mean, God, my body has woken up in, in places. I, if I, I don't know if he took me there, if, if I took myself there, I, if it's taking control, I, I am not aware. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know any of this. Ada, this is why I need answers. It's why. All right. He won't, he won't tell me anything. I, I've told him, I've, 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 I've bargained with him, I've reasoned with him, I've, I've begged it. 
I understand completely. And I can help you. I can help you get okay. freedom from this horrible nightmare you've been living. Okay. But I'm going to need to be able to trust you. All right, LD, I, <laughs> and it's I not nothing. that I don't it's not that I don't trust you, Anthony. Yes. But I need to make sure that while I'm conveying this information, nothing happens to me. You understand? Uh, you, you look, if, if, I, I mean, I'm going to turn you, around. You, I'm going to turn around and just look for some neon lights or lamp fixtures or electronics and see if I can pull any electrical cords out. I mean, they be, they have stuff around. I mean, okay. um, they probably have different signs and things like I imagine, um, the f- you'd be on the first floor, which is the uh, mm-hmm. EDM sort of part of the club. Mm-hmm. Um, so they'd probably have signs for the different kinds of like alcohol and whatnot that they have, like neon signs and, you know, yeah. um, probably some little bits that they have to put up for sponsors. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, okay. Anthony, this is going to sound scary but if I'm going to convey this information to you I'm going to need to bind you to this chair temporarily just to ensure that no harm comes to me through no fault of your own do you understand (sighs) you have my promise that I will do nothing to hurt you Uh, Peter, you have to appreciate that's a very big ass. I completely understand. But this nightmare can end. Okay, look. um, Peter, you know, I trust what goes both ways. I. You combined me. If that's what it takes, you, you can tie me to this chair. I need you to speak to him. That I, I need you to get answers for me from him. And then you can tell me everything you want. You can you can tie me down, but and then I beg you please just just to speak to it. I can do that. I can do that. Okay. And I'll sort of I mean I'm guessing whatever I'm sat in, I'll either put my I guess arms like behind it so they can be tied behind, or if it's got arms, I'll kind of Put my wrists on on the arms have, of the chair. Does it have arms, or is it behind him? Uh, this will affect my plan moving forward. What do you think, Max? Sorry, repeat the question. Does the chair that Anthony Charles is sitting on in the main room? Would assume have it would be arms? at the bar. Uh, no. For a nightclub, no, no chairs at the bar. Um. The, so the whatever blood, chair so would be closest. Chairs. Yeah, yeah. We Just pulled one it, off of a we pulled one off of a table, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Around the the sort of sides of the dance floor, there'd be um, chairs, but they're more like like kind of stools. There's no okay. um, arm to them, but there is a back. Okay, so um, behind you then, I guess. And, um, uh, I'll take some of those electrical cables. Behind. Yeah, I'll take some of those electrical cables, and uh, I've cut them from the, from the, uh, from the uh, fixtures. So there's some copper leads still hanging out. I'll uh, tie them up, and as I do, I'll just make sure that that copper lead remains in contact with his skin. I'm going to go get the book now. I'm going to go get the book. I'll be right back. I'm going to test the binds and see if he's able to get out. Um, you can investigate. Okay. Um, yeah. 
they're secure. Okay. I'm going to walk back into the, uh, the room that we came from and see if I can find an extension cord. Do I find one? It's a utility... Uh, you look for a utility room of some kind. Mm-hmm. Um, a nightclub, you know. Yeah, they'd probably have an extension cord somewhere. Maybe for right. a vacuum or what, what have you. Okay. Um, I bring that back out with me. All right, Professor Charles. Um, I know this is uh, a little bit unorthodox. <laughs> but I just need you to try and relax. If anything goes wrong, if anything goes wrong, I'm just going to plug the electrical uh, extension cord into the wall and just have the other end in my hand, along with the end of his cable. If anything goes wrong, I can just do this. It'll wake you up. It's not enough to hurt you, really. Just a little, you know. Okay. Okay. Right? Um. But if anything goes wrong, I'll just wake you up. All right. And I'll, I'll just look up to her. Okay. Okay. So. Can you get me some answers, Ada? Please. I'll get you everything you've been dying to know. Just, I just, don't, uh, don't trust it. Um, be, 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 be open, be open with it. Just, just uh, give yourself to it. Be, don't, don't lie to it. It doesn't like being lied to. Professor it, Charles it, uh, suffers another tremor. You can see the black fill his sclera again. And sort of reverberating from his chest, a sort of growl erupts. Read me the book. Can you see me, passenger? This symbol, and I point to the carving on my hand. What does this mean? What is this? You have marked yourself yes. with his symbol. Oh. Who is he? to just talk to it now, all right, please. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I begin. Just, just, just give yourself to, just please, just start. We'll be okay. Okay. Passenger. I'm it's going like, to read says that. I'm going to read you the book. Do it, do the it now. The second Ada says that. He wanted someone who is giving themselves. She's all yours. Influence other. Professor Charles. Uh, no, I I don't think that affects it. 15. Okay, so. Um. What does it feel like, Professor Charles, when you feel the passenger leaving you? I think as it leaves, it's like, it's like that roll of thunder. It's like a massive surge of strength and then a complete quiet and zen after the thunder and lightning has struck. So there is a growl that erupts from Professor Charles again. 
You start to see uh, this black liquid start to pour out of uh, his eyes and mouth and ears, just streaming out of him and spilling onto the ground. And oh, it starts to crawl, crawl towards you. Huh. It's moving towards you, Ada. I'd like to... I'd like to kneel down. Kneel down. What are you? It starts to crawl up your feet. What does it feel like? Like a viscous, oily substance. Huh. That feeling when you lose your back. <laughs> as, I mean, as a slight aside, would I have been able to use any of that kind of strength and the just the power of me leaving to do anything with my binds like that kind of just a hulk moment of <laughs> uh sure you can try um i'm gonna say that ada tied you up pretty good though mm -hmm. i would say depending on how you want to do it it seems like mm, no it seems like you want to be very forceful with it. it it'd be a violence roll Okay. Uh, that's oh yeah, engaging combat. <laughs> this has to be a very good roll. <laughs> that's a seven. She tied it too well. Fair enough. This uh, liquid is crawling up your legs. can start to hear whispers. What do they say? The book, read it. Read the book. Oh, absolutely. Ah. Uh, it begins to coat your body. Can I plug it in? Can I plug the uh, the cables together? Sure. What do you do with them? <sighs> plug them together. <sighs> Are you touch? You're touching Professor Charles with them still? He's still tied up with the uh, yeah. with the copper wire on his skin. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> you give him a zap. <sighs> <sighs> Endure injury, please, <sighs> Professor Charles. Okay. Um. Mm, mm, mm. Gotta blind the breaker anyway. It's safe. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Uh, <laughs> Professor Charles uh, is rocked by this electricity, and the stool falls backwards. The legs <sighs> sort of fall out from under it. <sighs> you slam down on the ground hard, Professor Charles. <sighs> Uh, Does the chair crack or break at all? Uh, probably not. Okay. This I'd like to read the book. Sure. You can roll me. I would like you to roll me, and it's going to sound ridiculous, but this is for randomization purposes. Uh-huh. I would like you to roll me. Mm -mm, sorry, let me just check really quickly here. Roll 
me a 1d100. Oops, slash in front. Slash roll 1d100. Okay. like you to turn to page uh, 290 in the book. All right. You can go ahead and start reading that. Metropolis. Metropolis is humanity's primordial home. Resting atop its 7,777 hills, the city is dead, empty and quiet. Ah, languishing in its fateful decay, the dark urban landscape is as menacing and frightening as it is beautiful and miraculous. From horizon to horizon, the shadowy sprawl extends outwards in an endless maze of architectural wonders, serpentine streets, and grotesque constructions. <sighs> Monumental buildings tower over the skyline, quiet and threatening beneath the heaven's dark firmament. Winds wail through the streets, swinging debris and clutter along cracked pavements. Now and then, the silence is broken by the painful screech of metal, beams, followed by the thunderous roar of one of the imposing building's collapses. It's stone dust settling over everything like a funeral shroud. In the many market squares, cracked and statues stare into the night with eyes of stone or patinated copper. Metropolis is the paradigm we subconsciously try to recreate in Earth's cities. It is built from iron, stone, and steel, and stranger materials stolen from copper. The city has no physical borders. Metropolis stretches infinitely into the night. As you finish that paragraph, <sighs> you can feel the inky blackness move its way across your body, reaching your hand where you have etched the symbol in. Once it reaches the symbol, it begins to burn. It begins to burn. Ouch. I can't take you. You are not his to kill. The liquid retreats from your body quickly this time, spilling down as if splashing water to the ground. It falls away from you and, and splashes back towards Professor Charles, enveloping his body, crawling into every pore, into your mouth, into your ears, your eyes, and your nostrils. And that's where we're going to take our break. Oh, damn. Uh, damn. <laughs> and that's why we close on Sundays. Yep. I never thought when we started this show that uh, that Ada and, and Anthony would have a date together. <laughs> <laughs> and that it would go so well. And, and might I add, involved the exchange of bodily fluids. On the dance floor, as predicted. Yep. Neither one of us had protection. <laughs> I didn't get I, my dick I'm just surprised that's not that the there was a thing. woman involved. <laughs> oh, that was dope. <laughs> uh, well done thus far. Uh, if you haven't done so, please make sure you follow all of these lovely people, please. Um, you can head on over to tablestory.tv slash facade. 
um, to go click on all their links, follow them on all the places. And if you missed it, uh, underneath the channel, we have a panel for Black Lives Matter. Um, please support in any way that you can. It's uh, a great way to educate yourself as well. Uh, if um, you can't help with money, um, but you can sign petitions, you can donate, you can um, educate yourself. Please do that. It's important to make sure that you treat everyone equally because uh, everyone deserves to be treated equally. Um, so go check it out. And um, we're going to be back in just a few minutes. So hang tight for more of Table Stories Facade. Um, shit's getting crazy. <laughs> it's getting intense. It's getting oh, intense. Yeah. And uh, we, are, we are inching closer towards the finale. So um, prepare yourselves however you like because it's only getting crazier from here. We'll be back in just a little bit. Hang tight for more facade. Welcome back, everybody, to the Table Stories facade. Uh, Wack just apologized to me right before he took us back into the screen. I just want you to know that my heart rate has spiked. I am now, like, in full-blown panic mode. Thanks, Wack. Um, What's happening? Your cab arrives at uh, Sai's apartment. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, that'll be uh, 11.50. Uh, yeah, yeah. I just give him cash. All right. Thank uh, you. Keep thanks. the change. Thank you. Have a nice night. You too. <sighs> I look around nervously a little bit. Uh, and then I, I head back to, uh, back up to Sai's apartment. With yeah. my key. Uh, you, do I n notice anything? Like, when I look around to see if there's anybody. Yeah, sure. Um, you can, uh, I mean, just, uh, y yeah, you can observe a situation, sure. Yeah. There's, uh, just you can make ask sure me two questions. <laughs> um, there isn't any of those creepy people waiting for me. Mm -hmm. Um... Question uh, What should I be on the lookout for? In this, in the lobby? I guess just as I approach this apartment, I guess. Because it's more like I get out of the cab and I'm looking around and I'm being observant while I walk up to the apartment. I don't want to get caught walking up there, you know? These people said that they were going to come Roll and get me. Roll me disadvantage, me. please. Sure. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Um, what is being hidden from me? Nothing. Okay. And Sai's not home? You walk into the apartment. Um, when you do, uh, you get the impression that Sai is not home. Okay. But the place is a mess. Okay. Not the mess that you and Remy left the general disarray that size apartment would be in. Okay. But stuff is out of place. Chairs are moved. I wouldn't call it ransacked. Okay. But messy. Okay. But it it's not ransacked, so I don't immediately think somebody's been looking through here. I think your hackles are up. Okay. Um, uh, then I guess I will observe the situation again. Sure. And I can use my relationship with Sai as an advantage here. It's yes. His apartment. Two questions. Um, what is being hidden from me? The 
the spot where you hid the book is disturbed. Mm-hmm. And is the book there or is it gone? The book is gone. What can I use to my advantage to find out who took it or where it went? The door wasn't broken in, broken, right? Correct. Okay. I think in terms of what you can use to your advantage, your detective skills would be your best bet. Uh, okay. I will do that then. (laughs) You can investigate. Okay. Eight. Looking around for a while, you spend maybe 10 minutes looking around the place. Like you said, the door wasn't broken into. There was no signs of forced entry. However, after you look in the immediate area, you do a cursory glance of the rest of the place. you find something left on Sai's bed. Okay, is it like a notebook or? It's a picture. Okay, I go over and I pick up the picture. Looks like a younger Sai with a very beautiful woman. Oh God, is it green? Yes. And what's happening in this picture? Do they look like a couple? He's wearing his um, patrol. Uh, No, I'm sorry. Mm. Yes, he is actually wearing his patrol uniform. And um, he looks stoic. And She's looking at him and kind of pouting. Sorry, like pouting in a cutesy way or pouting in a sad way? Trying to... Cutesy. Huh? Cutesy. Cutesy, okay. So it looks like they're together. You can read a person. Twenty. Yes. Okay. Shit. Okay, I call Sai. A brick of a Nokia phone. Takes a few rings. Yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry. What's going on, man? Why? I need this. No, you don't. What are you doing? Because it, it looks to me like you're about to do something really, really stupid. You don't understand. Oh, I, th- I, I, I think I do. I, I think I do understand. To want time you don't have. I, I understand completely, but this is not the answer. You cannot bring her back. Sai? It's my only chance. 
chance at what? Happiness? Do you think the two of you can really be happy? I've never loved anybody like her. Same, Sai. You don't know that. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Nothing has been the same for me since. Food doesn't taste the same. I don't enjoy views or color. I don't feel the same way I used to. You may love her, but she won't ever be able to love you. You don't know that. Yes, I do, and I think you do too. You've been doing this for way longer than I have. She'd really want you to pay it. Try and influence other, please. This is your relationship with Sai. 18. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I run out the door. I head immediately where he's located. And we switch scenes. Remy. You awaken a different place. Ah. <sighs> It is oh. Roll your disadvantage for me Start. in what appears to be a pretty posh looking place it looks like a 
uh, you're in a you're in like a leather chair, like well padded, very oh. very comfortable. Does it rotate? No. Um, but there's a coffee table in front of you, and the thick smell of tobacco. Cigars, specifically. Is that a... Is that a Cuban? Uh, oh, it's been a while. Remy just puts his leg up. Um, you know, like when you sit... Like, um... I don't know. When you, you know, you not crossing your legs, but like the uh, the gentleman's pose, I guess. Mm. And he just like puts his head back, or I put I put my head back, just like, oh, oh, what the. F you just that now sort just of realize that there are people in the room. Mm -hmm. Several of them. Is this him? Hmm? They don't seem to be talking to you. They're carrying on a conversation. It does look like him. Why would he come here of all places? I'm not sure. Can I hear their conversation or? You catch part of it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are they t talk talking about me? Like, how do I feel uh, as far as you like, don't my feel body? Good. Let's put it that way. Um, Is it still cold? No. Okay. What about that strange smoke? It couldn't come past the wards. Interesting. Yet he was able to. Yes. <clears throat> Strangely uh, enough. Ex excuse me. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm right here. We're well aware, Mr. Turner. And you are? And where am I? What? What? Who, who, who are you? And why am I here? Nice seat, though. Not the fine leather. This is a... Uh, oh. Nicer than anything in my apartment, that's for sure. My name is Francis Robertson. Oh. Um. Well, clearly you know uh, me. I bet you might be a fan. Maybe? A chance? They all sort of look at each other. All of them are dressed pretty well. And what am I wearing? Am I in my regular... Your regular clothes. A bit dirty, but... Yeah. I could definitely use a shower. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, like I said, um, where, where are we? You're in our private establishment. Oh, um. For most, oh. it's a cigar bar. Oh, yeah, I don't really smoke cigars, but I... Funny enough, Partake you didn't in... seem to need a cigar to smoke before you came in here. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, do you guys have, you know, any uh, party favors? And I'm gonna look around, like, so that no one else hears me but them two. By chance, I um, probably could use a bit of a pick-me-up right now. One leans into Mr. Francis Robertson and whispers something in his ear. Cocaine, is it? 
Yeah. Um... <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It is. No, there's no cocaine here for you. All right, and I figured I'd just, you know, ask. That's all. Why are you here? <laughs> you refused our previous invitation. Um... I... did not. I have no idea where I am or, or who you are. I, I have never spoken with you. Unless I might have missed a DM, maybe, but I don't think I refused. He looks to but the if side, I did, I, I'm sorry. and he makes a, a gesture with his hand. You can see the man that held a gun to the back of your head pop out of the crowd. <gasps> um. So I point him out. I'm like, you know that 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 guy tried. He he tried to he tried to kill me. And he said that I can, eventually I would, why? He wasn't trying to kill you, Mr. Turner. He was trying to escort you here. Yet here you are falling oh. into our lap. I guess so. Yeah. Um, so I'll kind of make myself more comfortable like look comfortable but in my mind i am kind of i'm very uncomfortable right now and i'm yeah so what's the what's the word uh, what's the occasion um what, what's... we are members of an organization mr turner do you know a certain hoff Men by chance? Are they you all, with they him? They all start to like look at each other, visibly concerned at the name. I mean, we know of Hoffman. Kind of weird guy, isn't he? Eccentric. Very. We He's, uh... seek to rid this place of creatures like Hoffman. Like weird human beings or you're not giving me a lot <laughs> Hoffman is no human being oh yeah um, he is kind of out of this world isn't he he's, he's done some pretty unexplainable things <clears throat> but well, I don't know he seems harmless to me just kind of weird that's all When was the last time you met with this Hoffman? Um, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I, I really don't have a really good concept of, of time right now. All right. I imagine you don't, not with everything that's going on. Yeah. Have you felt strange it's... lately? Oh, uh, very. Actually, <laughs> funny you say that. I... Don't feel it now, but I can't tell if it was a dream or not, but I've had some really weird things happen in the past, in my mind, I would say 48 or so hours. Yeah. A lot of weird shit. a drink, Mr. Turner? Yeah, um, <clears throat> I, Are you yeah, a scotch uh, man? No, uh, not really. Um, more of a... Rum kind of guy, even a beer would be okay, but I think for now I would, you know what, fuck it, yeah. <clears throat> if you're paying, I'll, yeah, whatever. Scotch it is, then. It takes but a few seconds, and you can see that there is scotch neat 
two on a tray brought by a finely dressed waiter or server mm -hmm. and one glass given to Mr. Robertson there and the others brought over to you yep uh, was that one mine here yes oh. thanks thanks and Remy kind of uh, or I'll try to pretend like you Remy doesn't really drink scotch or I don't drink scotch like that but I've seen many movies and whatnot uh, that uh, you know you're kind of sitting in the chair with the leg up there on the knee mm -hmm. like my ankles on my kneecap right now and I'm just like <laughs> pinky up I have my pinky up as well I'm kind of just like cheers your good health Robert to, to yeah to, to, to good health indeed and I just like take a sip oh I mean and you make it, it's it's a very 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 good scotch um mm -hmm. it's very smooth but it's strong um, yeah and uh if you don't drink it, it's probably pretty intense. Um, yeah, Remy doesn't drink scotch. Yeah. And, um... <coughs> you can see that Francis is savoring it. It's good, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah, this is... Woo! And I probably would drink it, not savoring it at all, but a bit more like a like a gulp, mm. almost like a shot. But it's a lot more, I would assume. Like it's one to be enjoyed. So <clears throat> he says. Do you want to tell us why you're here now? And whatever that was that followed you. Oh, oh, something, so, something followed me? Yeah. Um. He points to the cut on your arm. And it's still there? Okay. Yeah. Oh. I think you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, about that. Uh... Can I read a person here? Yes. As I'm... Definitely. Okay. It's an intuition roll. Yeah, it's got to open... Got to open... And pop up. Hold the phone. I got it's, it. Yeah, it's under your character sheet. Okay, you can ask one question from the read a person list. All right, so <laughs> Pinky's still up. I <clears throat> what do you wish? No, he already asked. That's it. How do you? I know how. To, um, how do? How do you feel right now? I'm I'm feeling kind of kind of nice, honestly. Very curious about you <clears throat> and why you're here. Okay. All right. So <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm confused. You know, definitely. Yeah, you're not gonna believe this, but I um. I think woke that you'll up. find that most of us here at. Our club mm -hmm. have very flexible minds, Mr. Turner. Yeah, I can tell. You seem like a very uh, well, well-spoken, well, well-read individual. And I'll tell you right now, um, I 
there was this black smoke monster that literally went into this cut here and it was so cold so cold and I, I i was in in one of my friend's uh, apartments and it said that it wasn't gonna give up on me but it would leave my friends alone and then the last thing i remember i was just trying to charge my phone like um shit. Uh, yeah i was trying to charge my phone and it, it, it literally slowed me to a crawl and i fell back asleep and here i am here in this comfortable this comfortable chair with you guys I know it sounds stupid. All of them are staring at you. Look. You said you had flexible minds. I can't explain it any better way, okay? But yeah, that that's the story of of my life. I can't ex explain things that well. But I try. Have you been to limbo? Mr. Turner. Um, Limbo. Can you refresh my memory? Um, what, what's what's like? Is that a club? Or are you talking about? Are you talking about like the, the enough actual of your concept? games, Mr. Turner? I'm not playing any games, sir. I just was wondering if you wanted me to elaborate more because. I've been to a weird place. I don't know if you're familiar with a, a what certain place. Uh, have you been to a Dr. Ada? Uh, it was at NYU, and I ended up seeing one of the scariest things that I've ever seen in my life. Someone apparently a lot of people like me, but he had said that he would take care of me too. But in a in a kind of weird creepy way you know you're not making any sense mr turner where were you i was at nyu and i saw the same black smoke and it took me in and i ended up in a place that i i don't know where it was i describe it i don't even know where i am right now man i, I like what part of town are we in are we still in new york describe it mr turner what did you see i saw oh i don't want to describe it i don't i tried to forget it but it was some kind of a almost a beast but not it spoke perfect english but it was horrific i honestly i i'm trying Okay, and I'll take like another sip. Roll me a disadvantage, please. You finish it without thinking about it. Yeah. So. Um. Have you seen? Anything like a black smoke figures, even just unexplainable stuff. I've never quite seen anything like it, and oh, it, it, yeah, you are being like a dream manipulated, Mr. Turner. Manipulated, Me? yes. Um, not, not to my knowledge. No, I would, no, I would never. The manipulation <laughs> spreads outwards. It's like you a think? cancer. It's spreading across our world and we are blind to it. Well... Maybe unintentionally. I mean, he didn't kill me, right? I tried to take a picture with him. Um. You, Mr. Turner, you can see 
the illusion tearing. Yeah, no, you, you're right. Yeah. Uh, you are special. I don't know if it was an illusion. Q Just said like I wasn't your crazy. Brother. Yo, you wait a minute. How do you know my brother? How do you your even know I have a brother? brother was a member here. Like, <laughs> Lenny? <laughs> um, I don't, can I get, uh, can I get another, another drink, please? Just a, a, a beer Your is fine. Your brother recognized that the illusion is crumbling. Good. I mean, more of these creatures are making their way to us, and they have okay. no right, Mr. Turner. Yeah. They have no right. Um, yeah, you're right. <laughs> no pun intended, but if you could get that that beer i uh i i've only seen one if you're talking about what i'm thinking of i didn't think that hoffman was are you saying and then remy switches his legs like which ones that are i say ah oh, fucking god who sits like this um, are you saying Hoffman is one of those? One of many. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Um, what do you want me to do about it? Um, I, I don't know. I'm at a loss. There are certain people among us that can see the illusion crumbling. They can see the tear. Your brother are was you one. You are another. Me. I... I can see the tear that, that, that you're speaking of is... He turns his head and makes a, a gesture with his hand. Someone begins to walk over. Hmm. Familiar to you. Okay. Even in silhouette. What does uh, this figure look like? Shape that you recognize come into view. Lenny wearing dark sunglasses. Len? And I kind of step back, like, is it really, is it really you, Len? He looks a bit confused for a second. It is you. Len, with, what the f where have you oh man okay <sighs> and i'm just it's gonna go give him a hug not to overwhelm him mr Turner. i'm gonna give him i'm gonna give him like a hug like i just kind of put my glass down and uh just <laughs> like <laughs> what the fuck, man as you hug him you can feel his sunglasses fall off Flatter mm -hmm. to the ground. He hasn't said anything. Like? No. 
He I am has... going to observe, like, the feeling of, uh, well, the situation, like, w as I kind of pull back and look at him straight up. Okay. You can still ask me one question from the list. Say, how could I get you to tell me how you got here? That works. From observe a situation. Oh, I did read. Oh, sorry. All right. So I say, what is being hidden from me? look up you can see horrible scars around Lenny's eyes his eyes are missing D Len what what the f what the fuck did they do what did they do to you uh, hello Len are you there your brother isn't well Mr. Turner what did you- what the fuck did you guys do to him? We didn't Why do you... anything. <laughs> he did this to himself. He doesn't have any- Lenny. Bruh. Hey. Hello? Why isn't he talking? What- why isn't he speaking? He hasn't said they, they anything. They cut his eyes out, not his- not his tongue. Um... He hasn't said anything. Since he took his own eyes. And you saw him do this? Yes. Here? Or before? Not here. But we saw it happen. Alright. Well. Are you good? Why are, why are you talking to Lenny? It seems kind it's, of non-responsive mm. hey 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 Lenny you found Did out you... the truth Mr. Turner much like my brother did and he was a saint did he he cut his eyes out as well? Far Look. worse. You don't have to explain. You don't. I don't. I actually. No, I'd rather not. <laughs> you understand how long I've been looking for him? Huh? Like. And then uh, this is. Lenny. What? Oh, the truth about. About. About what? I don't want to hear about your brother. I just want to hear what it is that he discovered. That's all. Because there's a lot of fucked up shit going on right now. And a little clarification would be pretty cool. Just saying. And that Let beer, you yeah, still haven't you. brought it. I need it. Let Waiter. me tell you. About a world of a thousand lies, Mr. Turner. Hmm. Seems like this one that we're living in isn't, doesn't it? If this you be, wish I'm sorry. to learn more, we can share this knowledge with you. Yeah, that would be great. But you must pay a price. Hopefully not my eyes. Um, just saying. I kind of like those and I need them. You must become one of us. Mr. Turner. And just what... Or who... I guess... It's some kind of club. Who we are... 
Elysium within. Then Remy, or I. Um. Oh my. Oh. Oh my God. Okay. What do I need to do to become one of you? Because. Follow me. All right. Can you get that beer, please? Thank you. Be wonderful. Let me switch scenes. Oh, Max. Why do I feel like I'm in trouble? You just pulled up to Myriad. <laughs> mm-hmm. Does it look abandoned from from the outside? Yeah. Closed down. It's a Sunday. But on top of that, there's been uh, police, you know, a crime scene there. Uh-huh. Um, I'm going to stay in the car for uh, a little while and just check to see if there's been any any police going in and out, any movement inside, any lights on. Observe a situation. Okay, uh, you can ask me one question from the observer situation list. What should I be on the lookout for? There is a light on inside. Mm. And there's nobody that I can see going in or out. Just, just a light. Just a light. Okay. I'm going to pull my hood up um, and get the the bag of crisps, the chips out of my, out of my bag. I can do translations too. Um, I'll take one last look to make sure, grab my bag and um, head to the smoking entrance exit. Okay. Is it locked? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll do just out of habit. I'll be looking around under under bricks and stuff, and then realize and be like. Mm, didn't look nice last time, but may maybe because it's it's my club now, I guess. And grab the key out of my bra and try it in the door and just peek because I don't like it. Okay. Um. First, I would like you to roll me two disadvantage rolls. Oh my god. Okay. One. Two. Wow. Okay. <laughs> huh. Okay. Um, second. What's in your head when you turn the key? Um, wondering if it's Dion inside. You're thinking about um, Dion? Bleh. Thinking about Dion, thinking about, um, trying not to think about Marek. Trying not to think about Marek. Yeah. Okay. Uh, act under pressure. Fourteen. You open up the door. And inside, when you peek, you can see Marek's office. An intense smell of bleach. It's your, it's your nostrils. Almost like I'm in a trance. 
I'll take the key out and step through and close the door behind me. You close the door. You can hear some voices. It feels almost kind of swimmy, like I'm hearing it through water, like I'm so fixated on the fact that I'm back here. And the last time I've got fleeting memories of it and it's all kind of warped and it just, it feels like having a dream and you remember having this dream before. If that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. And I'm just kind of staring at the desk and staring at the walls. And almost on autopilot, like my hand reaches out to open the cupboard, the, the desk drawer, mm. like I did last time. The desks, uh, the office has basically been spaced in a way for easiest possible cleaning. Mm -hmm. So some stuff has been removed from the office. The really heavy shit has probably been left here, but pushed to mm -hmm. clean as much as possible. There's probably still blood stains, though. Mm -hmm. I'll just run my hands over them. You can hear the sounds of what you think to be Professor Charles's voice? Maybe Dr. Copeland's as well? Well, I don't know if... You you know mm -hmm. really much about Dr. Copeland, but you recognize her voice. It all still feels dreamlike. I run my hand over the desk as I move towards the door. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of looking around and I don't... It's It's weird because this place is like the heartbeat of the club, right? This is the... This was always where everything made sense. Mm. And it doesn't feel like... Like it makes sense anymore. It's not comforting anymore. It's the same room, but... And I'll just slowly drift... Out towards where I can hear the voices. Dr. Copeland. Professor Charles. Oh, I'm s sorry. Am I interrupting uh, something? Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, You're the girl from from the apartment. Oh, Jesus, help me! Don't laugh. Be careful. Fuck! I am so sorry. I didn't. Um, I did not think there'd be another human involved in whatever the. <sighs> Oh, be careful, Jesus. Oh, be careful. Professor is Charles is tied uh, to a chair on the ground. Do you know this guy? Look, it, this... Uh, <laughs> I, I'm you've not seen one him before, to, haven't you? Yeah, well, uh, yeah hasn't everybody? Um, <laughs> I'm not one to yuck other people's yums, but could you, like, take it outside? Because this is not yours. Do you uh, she, she attacked me. Just, uh, You're the uh, one. You're the one who, who he had a bad I don't trust her, don't trust her. interaction with, a, a bad... You work here, right? I, I get the feeling that he has not had good interactions with many people because you leave. Dion! Is there someone else? You can you get out? Have anybody else? Yeah, I can absolutely. I'll, I'll leave. Absolutely. But you should know that um, he's I, 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 yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Sorry, okay. he's he's very dangerous. He looks very tied up. What the fuck have you done to our lights? <sighs> All right, sit the I'm, fuck down. All right. Okay. Um, I'm gonna walk over to Professor Charles and just look down at him. Like, okay, what well, the shit is going on? <sighs> she invited me here to talk, and she attacked me. And you just broke in. You broke it. You broke in. Do you, don't, don't, she... don't you have like a little hovel or something for entertaining your dubious conquest? Oh, I 
look like I'm the one in the negotiating position here. She invited uh, me here. She I'm sure there is a name for the position. Oh, oh. Fuck's sake. Can you untie him? I, I, I don't, 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 don't think don't, don't, that's don't, a me. very good idea. Untie him. Hear me out. Hear me out. <sighs> don't, don't trust, don't, don't trust her. You know what? I'm fucking bored of all of this. No, I understand. I understand. I know you're bored. I get it. Uh huh. I know this is frustrating and it sucks. I get it. But this nightmare can mm. end. We can all go home. This can be over and done. Okay? Oh, again. As Professor Charles uh -huh. struggles on the ground. You start to hear and see a tremor move through Professor Charles's body. Do you see what I mean? <sighs> Do you see what I mean? What did you give him? I didn't give him anything. He came up. He, he came here this way. He came. He came here this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Whatever. Descriptions. I can see them in his head. The Is this notebook that you yeah. seek? Yes. I will tell you where. Where he last knew I of punched it. Professor Charles in the head. <laughs> Give me a violence roll. Uh, where are we? For clarity, who hears that from me? I'm sorry. One more time. The the voice that you were just that was just speaking. Who in the room heard that? Everybody. Everybody. Okay. 19. <laughs> yeah, uh, you just... Night, night. You knock him <laughs> the hell out. Wait, right. stop. Now that's fucking done, and I pull the gun out of my pants okay, and just okay, hold okay. it to her head. Okay, 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 okay. Right. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. No more patronizing bollocks from you. Absolutely. Why are you here? Right. I'm here because there's something very wrong happening to all of us. Right, and you tied him to a chair because... Because he's dangerous. Right, he okay. And, and the, the roid rage voice is... It's a passenger. It's some kind of entity. In English? I don't know. It's a demon. A demon. Right, and, and the uh, light plug thing, the redecoration you've done in here. What? What's that? I can pay you for it. I'm sorry. I Don't give a shit. Didn't what know you were it? still using it. Tell me. Uh, I was hedging my bets. About? I needed to come here to talk to his passenger, and I used a, a little bit of electricity. Oh, just a little bit of electricity. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, that's fine, isn't it? went off. It's fine. Okay. Oh, you, you know what? I feel like I'm going to end up explaining this to the police tomorrow. Like, oh my god, I only want Elf in her face a little bit. Just a little bit. I didn't mean to. Nobody gives a fuck what you mean. Can I observe a situation? Um... One question. Uh, what can I use to my advantage here? In what way? Uh, I want to convince Max that I am not a threat. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, the fact that Max has a gun pointed at you. I think it's kind of your only thing that you could show that you're in a weak position right now or that you're not a threat. Okay. Can I examine the gun? It looks strange. Uh, it looks like, you know, I don't know if you can tell the brands and whatnot, but it's a Glock, but it's got some weird engraving and shit on it. It looks kind of, there's some gold engraving on it. Interesting. Okay. I understand that you're frustrated. My name is Ada Copeland. What is yours? 
I just want to be able to call you something. Doesn't have to be your real name. That's lovely. Be, That's lovely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever you want. I don't have to call you anything. Just, just give me something to call you. Uh, yeah, my name is. I'm sorry. Please stop hitting me. What? I punch her. <laughs> give me a violence roll. <laughs> Ten. Okay. Um, Just a little punch. Hmm. <laughs> you take the hit there, uh, Doctor Copeland. <laughs> I would like you to endure injury, please. First. Okay. When she punches you, she leaves herself open. You could try and wrestle the gun away from her. Oh, please. I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> I want to face her. When she With does this, then, uh -huh. you notice uh, maybe her shirt kind of um, moves in a way that you can sort of catch something strange growing on her skin. Um, you can see that there's this kind of, it almost looks like a rash, but the rash is inky and black. Huh. So you caught that right before you caught the fist. Uh, question. Is yes? the book still out? Oh. Uh, I think... I think it would be. Can I see I it? it would, I think it would probably be on the ground. I think I probably dropped it. Okay, okay, okay. I, I understand. Uh, I understand. Sh sh let me think. Okay. Twatting on about. Oh, fuck's sake. I'll look down and see the book. Huh. Well, I. You didn't tell me it was Christmas. And I'll bend down very slowly and pick it up and be like, you've got a weird choice of reading material. It says Visions by Peter Robertson, but it's a strange cover. Um, it's a strange like typeface that's used. <sighs> I don't mean you any harm. I don't ever Clearly. want that. I don't want to cause you harm. Uh-huh. I but... just want to know what I can do to help you. I don't need your help. I think you do. I don't think I do. You know what I, I think... do need, though? I think I need to call the police. Do you think that's right? Do you think that's right? Because somebody's broken into my fucking property. Are you going to tell the police about your rash? And your gun? <laughs> and I've got a permit the for guy it. here? You the guy here that you brought in when the uh, when the office was closed. You've got a permit for a gun like that? Yeah. Okay. From a disadvantage, can... please, Max. Twelve. Okay. Max's skin slowly begins to steam. What happened to you? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. I can the help you. The bullets come out at this end. I can help you. I ask. I don't need your help. What makes you think that anybody needs your fucking help? Something is very wrong. Something is very, very wrong. Something's always very wrong. No, 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 no. Apparently Something I'm supposed to be working with these fuckers. And I come in here and you're playing torture porn in my club. So I'd like some answers, please. Although thank you for the book because um, that is, that's really helpful. <laughs> yeah, you can have it. Take it, it's yours. I don't mean you any harm, okay? 
Really? Because you you look so dangerous right now. Get on your knees. Okay. I get on my knees. I'll walk around behind her, unplug the electricity cable, throw it across behind the bar. I don't want anything bad to happen to you. I just want to help. I, I kind of I know of you got do. that. Like I, know, every I word... know that you got that gun from somewhere. I know that you uh-huh. got that rash from somewhere. I have well, a that's feeling. how guns and rashes work. Keep it together for me, please, Max. Eleven. Every time Ada speaks, you can feel yourself getting angrier. And wanting to hurt her. I have a feeling there's something wrong with you, and I can help you. Really? Yes. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. Face down. Okay. I'll slap the professor, see if he's going to wake up. Nah. <laughs> Uh, Professor Charles, uh, <laughs> I would like you to <laughs> try rolling now. <laughs> I would like you to act under pressure, please. Nineteen. Nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> that's some vicious bleed I've got going on. <laughs> you wake up. What do you need? I can get it for you. I can help you. Do you you ever shut the fuck up? And I kick her in the ribs. (sighs) Morning. How's it going, sleepyhead? Did you drink too much? (sighs) I'm going to need some answers because your date here is a gobby little bitch. What do you want to know? What the... What, well, there's some kind of, like, tie you to a chair, electricity, what the fuck? <sighs> Would you mind sitting me up before we have this conversation? He's dangerous. No, oh. no answers yes, I'm first. Very what is type. with you two? All right. I'd say you're you made for each other, but you clearly just... aren't. Oh my god, do you ever shut up? <laughs> If you'd spent five seconds listening instead of just bouldering in like an angry bull, you'd have had some answers. I put the gun in his mouth. And I just... That's very I, rude. That's very, just, very rude. I quite happily... Yeah. Just bite, like, bite the end of it. Oh, you are That's a, a little sick little puppy, puppy, aren't you? Pull it out and point it back at her. He likes it. He fucking likes it. Is that what this was? Because I need to, ex- <sighs> I need to understand what's going on here. Is, the, have you, is your tantrum over? I'm, I'm still waiting to give you the answers, which apparently <sighs> you're then. so interested Go in. Go on then. She invited me here for a conversation. She attacked me and tied me to the chair. Can you follow that trail? I didn't. I attack can. Him. I didn't attack well, him. There's your answer. Huh. <laughs> I'm just going to walk over to the bar and pull myself a shot and watch what they do. I do nothing because I'm on the floor tied to a chair. Yeah, I'm <laughs> on the floor face down with my hands above my head, so... So, the question is, uh-huh. are we going to work together and be nice? Or am I going to have to start breaking bones? It's all I've wanted. It's all I've wanted. I just want to work with you. I can help you. No, not work with me. Not patronize me. I'm not patronizing you. I don't mean really? that. Really? Really? Because you, you sound a lot like you fucking are. Oh, she's the we illustrious Dr. Other. Copeland. She's everybody's therapist, aren't you, Ada? Oh. Well, that explains a lot. We can help each other. 
Tell her you want to have sex with your father, and then she maybe she'll open up a little. Look, you're strong. Fuck you. You're a strong person. You're strong. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna reach behind the bar and get one of the the long bar towels, and I'm just gonna gag her. Oh, thank God. All right. Thank you. You're next, sweetheart. I don't care. You, I. <laughs> You have an astounding lack of situational awareness. I'm gonna put, put the gun my, back um, in my mouth. Do you think I care? Shh. I'm making a phone call. I call Quinn. Quinn. Okay. You get a phone call from Max. Uh, when in the timeline is this happening? <laughs> You're, you're probably in a cab on the way. On the way to size? Mm -hmm. Okay. Or, I mean, on the way to where he is. So I've already mm -hmm. had the phone call with him? Yes. Okay. <sighs> yes, Max, what? Um, I'm, I'm at the club. Um, there's, there's been like a weird fucking break in and that professor and that chick I saw you with earlier yesterday, day before, can't remember. Um, they're here and there's some kind of sadomasochistic whatever the fuck Ask going on. Her they won't if she can be trusted. Ask her if you can trust Ada. Quinn, tell her. Apparently I'm supposed to ask if I can trust Ada. You absolutely cannot. Cool. What do you mean? What do you mean? Some sort of weird? D d d what? What are uh, they he's doing? He's tied to a chair. She seemed she... really out of breath and enjoying it. Oh, are there are there organs organs around? Organs? Yeah, you know, like, you know, intestines and shit. No. Okay. Well, I mean, she's done that before, Should so I just thought I'd check. What? Yeah, man, it's it's super fucked up. You need to be really, really careful. I cocked the gun the... audibly. <laughs> Don't oh, don't trust a thing that she says. We here's what she she's queen of gaslighting. She's just going to tell you exactly what she thinks that you need to hear, and she's gonna lie right to your face. And then okay. no, no man, she's a nightmare. Also, she's incredibly fucking dangerous, Max. You need to be really really careful. I've got a gun to her head. Is that enough? Uh, what? I'm pretty sure I just explained the situation. Yeah, but you, you left out the part where you have a gun to her head. You said there was some weird shit going on with the two of them. Well, yeah, somebody broke into my property, so I sorted out the situation. I didn't shoot her. Okay. What do you want from me? Well, you know, like an hour ago, you threw somebody out a window. So, you know, uh, I just, I'm just double checking. You let it go. She... <sighs> I can't let it go. That was murder. You didn't know for sure if we, no, where no, we no. were. It was murder. God, oh my you're so God. nice, aren't you? I think I'm gonna Can you just it. hurry the fuck up and get here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Thank fuck. you. Right. Who wants a drink? That's a good place for us to end the session today. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I'm so sorry for gagging you I'm in a like whole game. <laughs> it was oh, either gagging you or shoot you, face. and I didn't want to shoot you. This is the weirdest date I've ever been on. <laughs> yeah. And I love it. <laughs> I'll be honest. Or the this best. Is... I don't know. You guys are all on placebo. Like, like, what? This is, pretty, this is pretty standard for a Professor Child's date. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so oh my. This is one of the tamer ones. <laughs> so spicy. <laughs> Good session, everybody. <laughs> Woo. Good job. Woo. Um... I told you, shit's gonna get even more intense. <laughs> shit's gonna mm -hmm. get even more intense. Um, I was trying to team up with them. I really was, but it went yeah. wrong. <laughs> Let's, uh, yeah, best camping trip ever, you know. <laughs> Does not play intense. well with others. <laughs> <laughs> let's go around the room and let's do our uh, shout outs and whatnot. Um, thank you uh, for being here, chat. Thank you so much. Um, if you haven't done so, please make sure you follow all of these lovely people. Um, you can do so by heading on over to tablestory.tv slash facade. Um, click on all the links, follow them on all the places. Follows are free. Please go make it happen. And if you have yourself a Twitch Prime or an Amazon Prime that you haven't used yet, consider throwing it their way. Go sub to them, get some emotes, and uh, help support them. Um, 
and uh, underneath the channel we have a link for Black Lives Matter. Um, please go check it out. Educate yourself. Um, you can um, uh, donate. You can sign petitions. Um, you can just uh, check out all the different resources and whatnot that they have um, to be a better person. So go make yourself a better person. Go do it. Um, let's go around the room. Let's do our shout outs and uh, questions and things. Um, tempo. Would you be so kind as to start us off, please? Oh, boy. Oh, this. Oh, after two weeks, yo. <laughs> I'm so happy. This was a good one. I go by the name of Tempo, spelled with a zero. Uh, if you want to check me out, I just got a new phone for strictly streaming, like, my uh, IRL stuff. So hopefully those are going to look out, you know, look pretty good. I'm hoping. But yeah, I do a lot of uh, StarCraft 2 for the most part, but I'm kind of venturing into different stuff and um, actually going to be doing a few casting gigs as well. You know, just if you guys are interested in SE2 or you're not interested in and you want to kind of get a little introduction, I make it very fun. You know, I'm a very low, uh, not very professional, you, you know, <laughs> the way that joke. I cast. I very feel like Tempo very makes inviting. everything fun. Yeah, I very was inviting. Just say yeah. That. So it's a very uh, intimidating game, but I try to make it not so much. But uh, yeah, uh, twitch.tv slash temp zero, uh, twitter.com slash team temp zero. And then Instagram, I've been actually getting back into skateboarding. So I'm going to use that as well to take better skate videos as well. So yeah, it's just fun. I do like little like storylines and stuff with my skate videos. They're good. I watched, the yeah. one in the, I watched the one in the park. Yeah, that was, good. that was good. This harkening back to I definitely can't skateboard IRL, but I played a ton of skate, all of the different skate games. Yep. Same thing. So I'm like, out. what the trick was that, out. man? How did I do that in the game? Because I <laughs> yep. could never actually do it in real life. So. In real life, I try to do it from the game in yeah. real life, and sometimes <laughs> it works out, sometimes not so much, but you know, I try. Thank you, buddy. Uh, I've got some questions for you. Well, I bet you do. Yep. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> have we discovered anything new about the truth? Yes, we have. have we learned anything new about our characters? Um, I'm not sure. So, cause uh, I don't know. I kind of didn't get an explanation for it, but I did at least question certain things like i don't even know what the whole situation was in uh professor charles's place i know i, I would say that you did okay all right i mean you you learned a lot about your brother yeah i don't know if you meant the uh, playable characters or um i think i think it counts for you especially yeah, very much so um have we challenged ourselves Oh, yes. I almost uh, <laughs> walked through a smoke monster, and then I got caught. I got cut. Three XP. Three. Thank you, buddy. No doubt. PB. Hello. Hi, I'm Pumpkinberry, and I played Quinn for you today. Uh, you can find me at Twitch and Twitter at Pumpkinberry. I am also here on Sundays for Dying Order, where I play Old Woman Sorcerer. Um, and then I'm here again on Wednesdays, where I GM our surreal thriller, Gone. Fire away. Thank you, PB. Mm -hmm. Have we learned anything new about the truth? Uh, I don't think so. Have we learned anything new about our characters? Have we challenged ourselves? Uh, yeah. One XP. Thank you. Thank you. Nicotine. Hello, everyone. My name is Nicotine. Uh, I'm a role player here on Twitch.tv. That's N-I-K-A-T-I-N-E. I did it! I do a lot of Grand Theft Auto roleplay. I play Ada, Dr. Ada Copeland. But I do a lot of Grand Theft Auto roleplay, too. Um, 
Uh, I encourage you all to check it out. It's uh, really easy to get into, and it's super, super fun. It's like elaborate digital roleplay uh, puppetry. Super fun. Um, I do that every weekday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern, 1600 GMT at twitch.tv slash nicotine, N-I-K-A-T-I-N-E. I also have a Twitter at nicotine prime. And, um, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I've got uh, some questions for you. Have we sure. discovered anything new about the truth? Uh, yeah, well, I, we discovered that um, Anthony's passenger can both have a physical form in the form of goo and is also transferable. Fucking terrifying. Can I ask a question? Does Ada For- know the does Ada know he fucking tricked her? Like he was doing that on purpose? I th- like the the professor right and the- I would prefer if you didn't answer that. <laughs> okay, yeah, don't yeah. answer that. Okay. Man, the 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 dynamic between those two, it's like watching Hannibal and Will and I'm like who's going to fucking win? <laughs> um, okay. So one so far, right. have we learned anything new about our characters? Uh, yeah, I learned that um, that Max has been affected for sure, with the with the uh, the, the big rash one. and the gun. Have we challenged and the sigil ourselves? Will, uh, oh yeah, sorry. Have we challenged ourselves? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. I got held at gunpoint. Yeah, and I didn't even cry. Yeah, sure. Three. Oh, baby's first stick up. I'm so glad it was your first. I remember my first stick up. Like, <laughs> yeah. Three XP. Three. Quinn, Quinn saved your life, and then you went to a grocery store or to a Seven <laughs> Eleven. A bodega, okay. Okay. Fair uh, enough. Jay. Oh, uh, I'm Jay Britton. You can find me here on uh, twitch.tv forward slash Jay Britton. I play variety stuff. Uh, I'm also a voice actor for games and animation. Uh, no news because NDAs. Um, season four of Hello Ninjas just come out on Netflix, so you can hear me be things in that, including a pirate. I finally got to play an animated pirate. I'm so happy. Aww, um, dream come true. Yeah, it is, yeah. Childhood dream. Is it really voice no, acting, no, though, if you're yar. just playing yourself? For fuck's sake. I'm a pirate. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, that's it. I'll be back on uh, Twitch on Monday, 6 p.m. BST, doing more Bloodborne. I just wanted to end now, even though it's so good. But yeah, I'll be back then. That was it. Okay. Have we discovered anything new about the truth? But yeah, I now know that my passenger can leave and fucking come back. I would argue not only that, but also more. Yes. Especially um, I didn't since know if that the was book was in... read to you. Yeah, there's that. And then probably the next question. But yes, all this shit about Metropolis, etc. You discovered anything new about her characters? Uh, yes, I managed to get Ada to admit she knows an awful lot about all the shit that's going on and show me this lovely little vigil thing she's got on her hand. Just like an open book. <laughs> Have we challenged I'm just, ourselves? I'm just stoking the fires. Uh, you'd think I'd say yes, but no. I, I, can, I can explain why otherwise, but no. Thank you. 2 XP. Thank you, Jay. Millie? Hello. Hi, I'm Amelia Tyler. I'm a voice actor for video games, and when I'm not doing this, I'm Hold doing on. Wait, wait, role play stuff. Hold on, mm, we've got yeah. two professional mm. voice actors mm. on this mm. show. Yeah. Have you guys won what? any awards or anything? <laughs> nah. How many Oscar-worthy <laughs> moments have you won just on this show alone? Wait, 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 no. oh, wait, yeah. wait. So we've got two <laughs> award-winning voice actors on this show. <laughs> Next thing you're gonna do is tell me you guys you guys do video games like all the video games that I played. Nah, nah. nah. Okay. Jay's, Jay's won way more awards than me. He got one from his chat the other day. Tell I him did. what he says. Shall I, I'll show it on. This is the, I have no bullshit. This is actually trophy? my most special award, right? This is what my chat got me for my birthday. I don't know how well it's gonna show up. It's this, right? It's a little like on my desk now, and I'll read it out to you. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Britton. Twitch award for pro gaming, a celebration of mediocrity. 
<laughs> oh. I thought they've, that's what they've been awarded. It's the best. It's literally the best award I've got. The others I basically great. use as doorstops and dust collectors. <laughs> Sorry, um, Millie. Continue. That's all right. That's all right. That, that was too to hilarious. One of those, man. <laughs> we could, we're all mediocre here, and our hearts. The mediocrity was the friends we found along the way. Anyway, um... if you don't set the bar too high, then you never get disappointed, <laughs> right? So. <laughs> Um, yeah, when I'm not doing the video game thing, uh, I do a bunch of roleplay. I'm back here Mondays uh, for Forbidden Lands, playing Fiuka, who's a very wise, very grumpy old lady in the Horizon Zero Dawn universe. And Tuesdays, I will soon be back on Encounter Roleplay for more Cthulhu, Call of Cthulhu Dark Ages, playing Lady Alice Hornwright, who's very lovely and is very confused by what's going on in almost every situation. Um, and that's it. That's all I can talk about, because... Like Jay said, NDAs are fun. Hooray. Yay. Thank you, Millie. Um, three questions for you. Have we discovered anything new about the truth? I don't think so. I would agree. Have we discovered anything new about our characters? Yes. I, I have discovered that we definitely cannot trust Ada and... That <laughs> there's some weird shit going on. I also found a book, which is awesome. Eduardo's gonna love it. <laughs> Have we challenged ourselves? <laughs> no. For level okay. up purposes, I would say no. One mm. XP. Thank you, Millie. Thank you. I'm Wax Steven. I have been your GM of Doom. I've dragged the players kicking and screaming through the adventure today. Thank you so much for joining us, chat. Much appreciated. Thank you for being here. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for supporting us. We appreciate you so much. Um, you're fantastic. Thank you um, for just being enthused and excited to be here. Um, it makes such a such an amazing difference. Um, if you like what we do here, if you are have joined us for the first time tonight, I saw there were a bunch of first time people here tonight. Um, uh, you can come hang out on the Discord. Um, we do a lot of really awesome shows here. Um, we've got uh, a wonderful cast here, as well as um, on other shows that we do. And we've got all different kinds of shows that we do. Um, so come join us. Come hang out on our Discord. And, uh, you know, meet a lot of other like-minded people that uh, some of which are looking for groups. If you would like to try and play a game uh, in, in a tabletop role-playing game um, situation, you can you can try and find a group there. We've got a looking for group channel. Go check it out. Um, and uh, thank you to Millie, thank you Jay, thank you Nicotine, thank you PB, and thank you Tempo for being awesome role players. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll see you on Sunday for Dying Order, which is uh, D&D 5th edition. Uh, light. It's the Brad Wodo. Brad Wodo version. Yeah, <laughs> Brad Wodo version of D&D. Um, it's, a, it's a fantasy game that Brad runs. Uh, PB's on that. It's good stuff. And uh, like Millie mentioned, on Mondays, we started just a little while ago, we started a new show called The Forbidden Lands in the Horizon Zero Dawn uh, universe. I'm on that as a player. So if you uh, want to see me uh, drive a, a, another GM crazy, I do that there. Um, and hopefully you'll, you'll join us for that. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Peace out. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Good night, everybody. Bye. Later.